yeah now suppose we have a bar magnet and for the bar magnet you are supposed to draw the lines of forces now remember lines of forces always go from north to south you you make your lines lines of forces go from north to south go from it goes from north to south you can draw around four five of them the lines of forces never intersect each other and you always show the arrow from north to south north to south you can also draw some extra lines of forces yeah. that's how yeah you have to generally you have to away from the north and towards the south so line of forces basically what you know if you draw if you have a line of force if you keep a magnet over here a magnetic needle it will always point along the line of force so if you keep a magnetic needle over here it will point this way if you keep a magnetic needle over here it will point this way so a magnetic needle will always be tangent to the line of force and so if you keep a magnetic needle over here it will point this way so that's that's what your magnetic lines of forces are but this basically is going like this yeah it's going like that but we only show it partly okay. remember that wherever the magnetic lines of forces are close there's a strong magnetic field so over here the magnetic field is strong because the lines of forces are close okay as you go away from the magnet they get spaced out then magnetic lines of, means the magnetic field is weak this is a horseshoe magnet the horseshoe magnet also the same logic from north to south this is how we draw it north to south north to south north to south away from the north towards the south and you show some lines of forces going away from the north correct and you show some more coming towards the south this is how we draw magnetic lines of forces for a horseshoe magnet this is your horseshoe magnet horseshoe magnet now let's have let's have two bar magnets and this two bar magnets you have the north pole and south pole and we need to draw the magnetic lines of forces so again the same logic from north to south from north to south north to south then you start looping it as you go away you start looping it then it loops further you loop it like this that's how your magnetic lines of forces are when your lines of forces are parallel it means it's a uniform magnetic field it's a uniform magnet. So in between the magnets, you'll get a uniform magnet. Now, what happens if you have a north and north facing each other? You're, 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 it's like, remember, they'll attract each other. North and south, unlike most attract each other. Here they'll repel. So you'll have a magnetic force, lines of force going away from the north. Going away from the north. Yeah, so your lines of forces are going away. Means they are repelling each other. So it's going away from the north. These are going away from the map. And in this one, can you like draw like a like, like No, no, there, there won't be a loop around. No. There won't be a loop around. Okay? So so this is going away from the north. South coming towards the south, but they'll repel each other. They're coming towards the south, but you know they are not they are, they are just ignoring each other, you can see like that. They don't intersect. And this is coming towards the south. Same. Huh? But they are repelling each other basically. Yeah. 